Pajama Jim here. I'm going to teach you how to have an idea. Assuming you don't already know. I am. I don't know a lot about having brilliant ideas, but I know a lot about having ideas on account of I have a bunch of them. Most of them are not brilliant. In fact, most of them are either stupid or ridiculous. Or both. But that's the key to having an idea, is you start with something stupid. I do this for writing, I do this for songs all the time. I mean, something you can just throw out there, like knocking over a Jenga tower. That Jenga tower is the ground, all the pieces scattered. sort of refine that you're like why why would I sing a song about knocking over a Jenga tower who why does that matter what is it about Jenga towers that is that or that act of knocking them over that is important to me or to the people who are hearing this I mean maybe it's the fear of losing and because you've just lost your friends at Jenga. Maybe it's the thrill of victory as someone else knocks it over. Maybe it's the tension. Maybe it's the thought that you never quite, I think, find all the pieces necessarily. They slide under stuff, unless your table's really big, and then it's going to be a big pain in the ass. I miss the peace. Miss the moment. The opportunity. Left it all behind, but I hit that tower. I feel free, feel free, feel free. And you grab the structure of that thing, the essential bits of that thing, and pull that out into the rest of your idea. I mean, that's your real idea. Your real idea it isn't about necessarily knocking over Jenga towers, unless your real idea is just about knocking over Jenga towers. Your real idea is about that feeling. And how do you, the, the way that you're expressing that feeling is through knocking over Jenga towers, whether you're doing it in writing, uh, or you're doing it in song, or you're making drawing a picture, or a business plan, or a slideshow, or... Whatever, you're, you're sort of, you're, you're grabbing that essential piece and you're expressing it through something else. It's just I'm true of lots and lots and lots of things. Then, just make it brilliant. I'm kidding. That's, that's a really terrible instruction or piece of advice. No, then do the best way you can with it and sort of tease that out and work with other people and see if they have that feeling or see what their what, what their feelings are and try and try and pull that in until you have something that whether or not it is brilliant and great because that's the worst honestly the worst bit is when you're sitting there and you're just like okay have a brilliant idea It, it, I'm not going to say it never works, because sometimes it totally works. That moment where you're like, nah. oh, yes, yes, that's what I must do. I mean, it, that happens, but more often than not, you're like, nah. and then you like burst a blood vessel and your head falls off, and it's really very upsetting for everyone. But the key is you don't have to have a brilliant idea. You can have a stupid idea. And you can sort of work it down into one. I didn't knock over the tower. I pushed to try and stop me. This thing has gone on longer than a game of damn monopoly. You wantedly acknowledge that you've been up in the block. The bar closed at midnight. It's half past three. You put a block on, block on the time. Make it look easy. The second block. Seconds, my ears just to strategize, centuries to agonize, I'm blocking for your judging eyes. Every move that we make just adds to the game. The block on the top just adds to the shame. You put a block on, block on the top, make it look easy without a second thought. You put a block on, block on the top, and it takes everything I got. It takes everything.
person does that make me? You put a block on, block on the top, make it look easy without a second thought. You put a block on, block on the top, and it takes everything I got. Sanity.